Yo, what's up, YouTube? Hi! Today we are playing Star Trek. Star date 20 something, something, something. Anyway, just a little bit of a gameplay. Uh, we're doing a mission where we've got to go to Vulcan and find Ambassador Sokath or whatever the hell his name is. I'm just kind of showing you here. And I decided to have a little bit of fun with the game, so I threw some crazy names out there. So I'll let you guys enjoy the uh, enjoy the gameplay. You know, fast forward through a little bit of it and stuff like that, and uh, just kind of give you some. Ground combat and some space combat. So, uh, let me know what you think. Give me a hit that like button. Yeah, my bad. Um, <laughs> Alright, like I was saying, having, having little guys running around while you're recording is not recommended. Anyway, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, comment on the on the page if you have stuff to say, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I, I try to put new videos on at least once a week, so uh hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, man. seek knowledge of the ancestors. Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to the gem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at the gem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. The gem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, do you seek knowledge? Many years ago, the gem was used for political purposes. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was hidden beneath the sacred sanctuary. It should never have happened. The buildings that had stood for Twelve centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. When the monastery was rebuilt, we pledged to keep it safe from the cares of the galaxy. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestor? Even a people who reject emotion require peace and contemplation. We are a spiritual people. Our rituals guide us throughout our lives. Vulcans who choose a life of study and isolation, as the monks at the gem have done, help us maintain our connection with our ancestors. The monks' study of Sirach's words in the Kirshara give us all a greater understanding of who we are and who we do you seek knowledge of the ancestors. Centuries ago, the Vulcans were creatures of emotion. We fought one another in a series of wars that devastated our planet. Our species was on the brink of annihilation. Sirach taught us to embrace peace and to put aside our emotions in favor of logic. Sirach ushered in a time of awakening on Vulcan. His writings, the Kirshara, shaped all that we are. Without Sirach, the Vulcans, do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I neither trust him nor distrust the ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak to the abbot, and has refused a mind meld with me. Normally I could respect his privacy, but other things I have heard. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Sarketh has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. 
Tapella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Tapella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll. She hopes the peace of the gem. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on the gem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Soket's request does not qualify. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I will permit it if you will pledge to me on your honor as a Starfleet officer. Yeah, so this guy's a typical Vulcan dude. I'm thinking Sokith is a douche nozzle. I know I can trust the Starfleet. Please protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Do you have any questions? Pajem is a small world near. It was a. Do you have any questions? My business is my own. Do you have any questions? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. See? Thank Do you. Schnozzle. He has listened to reason. And our journey won't be delayed any longer. But basically, all you do is you run around, you talk to people, and... Uh... It takes a little while sometimes to update. And now we're going to run back to our little shuttle. You can upgrade your shuttlecraft, I believe. I haven't done so. And now we're on our shuttle. Hey, it automatically does that. So, I mean, does the flying? I need to meditate and prepare for my meeting with the Abbot of Pajam. He's going to touch if himself. If you have no objections, I will retire to my quarters. Please notify me. Alright, so now we go back out to space. As you see, there's a there's quite a few other people playing and uh, apparently doing the same mission. So we're gonna zip right out of here. And now we're now it's a little bit of the uh, flying and crap. So this it's kind of hard to see my ship sitting there you got to aim it the right way and all this other stuff and of course uh, sometimes I forget which direction it points and I go backwards so here we go and if you look on the map you'll see a little bubble on the top right see where we're supposed to be going. For those of you still here, I apologize for the fast forward, but here we are. We... Uh-oh. So now we do a little bit of space combat. So I went ahead and put the whole mission on here, so it's a little bit of a long video, but I fast forward through a little bit of it. Well, I'll shut up now so you can enjoy the movie. You have a foul shape key to report your ship. Turn the creature over to us, or we will destroy you. That foul key 
beast on your ship is an undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of those honorless dogs dies. My patience is limited. The undine come from a dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum singularities to move into ours. Undine are telepathic and physically superior to humans. They see anyone from our dimension as an inferior life form, even Klingons. Undine have the technology to be a real threat to anyone, even the Borg. But the worst of their weapons is their ability to take our forms. The Undine have inserted themselves into every major power in the Quadrant and seek to control us through trickery and... My patience is limited. Speak, do tell me, Starfleet. It was your people who first encountered the Undine in the Delta Quadrant back when we knew them as Species 8472. Many among my people want to know just what you did to make them hate us so. My patience is limited. Speak quick, do. Doubt my word. Insult my honor. I have killed men for less. I have nothing to prove to the likes of you. As you can see, the USS Mountain Dew is not a is a force to be reckoned with. Yes, my ship is the USS Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, the nectar of the gods. Similar to my ship.
security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Sokhan. That's what they I have thought. Determined that he was killed by a phaser blast. I knew he was His a douche nozzle. Deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. some creatures why should I trouble myself with such insignificant beings when the Klingons will do my work for me warriors prepare for battle yes sir. there is a group of Starfleet officers behind me one of them is the foul shapeshifter I'm returning to the ship don't let them leave this planet alive Goodbye. yes sir
right. Don't mess with the Mountain Dew. Anyway, that was the mission. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's just a little bit of chit chat and all that crap. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a long video. I normally don't make videos this long. But I figured I'd put the whole mission on here. So don't forget to hit that like button, uh, comment, or uh, and definitely uh, subscribe for more videos. Till next time. Peace out.